Hey everyone, well I decided to do a video on an item that will be up on eBay, I'm thinking tomorrow. So uh, just to give everyone a heads up of what's going to be up there. Uh, this is another uh, Kusarigama. This one I decided to leave. Everything is plain steel. The chain's not been altered. Uh, the wood is just, the plain wood, just clear lacquered. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a natural version of the Kusarigama. What I normally do, I normally put a black oxide coating or some stain, and I normally change the chain color. I decided to keep everything as as is. So, we'll start at one end and go to the other. This is a inch and a half solid steel ball. Uh, the post is goes all the way through the steel, and it's actually been welded on this side and then refinish to where you can't see the weld so it looks like one solid piece uh, spring steel locking ring to connect these the chain and the weight this does have a brass it's called a brass glow finish on it this is the chain that I use normally uh, there is about almost 10 feet of it. It's a little less than 10 feet. It's uh, my arm length and then to the ground. So the handle is a solid oak handle. A uh, hole has been drilled with a 3 8 inch solid steel uh, pin connecting the chain. It does go all the way up until about right here. Uh, it is glued in there. Like I said, I, I use glue just to temporarily hold stuff so when I drill it, nothing twists, nothing moves. Just kind of like a temporary clamp, I guess. Uh, it is pinned. That's a four millimeter hardened steel pin. It's recessed in there so it's not sticking out or flush. It's a little bit below the surface of the wood. A uh, solid oak handle with uh, about quarter inch ribs turn into it. Uh, the handle length from here, from the beginning of the locking collar to the end, is about nine and a half inches. This is inch and an eighth round material. It's a little bit bigger than the one inch that I normally use. Up on top, we have a modified locking collar. Uh, this locking collar is pretty thick. I think it's about a hundred thou thick. Solid steel. I milled out on either side an opening. This, uh, I did this more to lighten this locking collar up because it was pretty heavy. This is a more top heavy comma. But I milled that out more for weight reasons. And it looks good too, so. Uh, this is, the blade is pinned. You can see there and there the blade goes about an eighth inch just above the steel locking collar so it goes all the way through this is glued and pinned like I said I use my glue for just to hold it so this doesn't wiggle around while I'm drilling we have a 3 16 inch thick piece of 01 tool steel hardened and tempered to a rock well of somewhere around I don't know, 56 to 58. Um, I, I do kind of like this because you can still see some of like the, the polishing marks. It's not like a clean 
like mere mere polish. You can still see some of the long scratch marks that go along here from the sander on both sides. You can see the difference of here and here where this has been polished with what I what I use a Scotch Bright pad. So it kind of gives a different dimension to the blade and the the blade angle and the meat of the whole piece of steel. So it's kind of nice. Uh, it does have a small curve to it. And the blade is about six and a quarter inches long. Um, I do like this one. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I've made so far. Just the fit and finish of it was great. I'm just a, I'm a big fan of this one. And my cat's coming over. Oh, she avoided the video. So very nice piece uh, definitely probably one of my top three builds I've, I've ever done I'm very happy the way this one turned out and the way it looks uh, the, the function of it I, I'm guess is gonna be great that it does have an edge on there it's not razor razor sharp but there is an edge you will you will cut yourself I like to sharpen my things to around like an axe edge uh, sharp enough to where it will cut and it will serve its purpose, but not razor, razor sharp to where you could accidentally hurt yourself. Uh, you can, you know, hone it to a razor sharpness. That's up to you. So that's the Kusari Gama that's going to be up on eBay. Um, it is also going to include a matching Kusari Fundo with just polished steel weights and with the gold chain so this is going to be a sold all together uh, I'm probably going to put it up as an auction I don't think I'm going to put a buy it now price I'm just going to let it ride and see what happens so that's it um, if you have any questions about this you know, let me know uh, the overall length of this is, I never even measured that, it's about 15 inches from the top of here to the bottom. I think it was 15. Yeah, about 15 and a half. All the way from the bottom post to the top of the steel, about 15 and a half. It, it is a pretty, it, it's, a, it's a good size weapon. It's definitely a lot more heavy duty oh uh, the blade I'm I'm very happy with the way the blade turned out I was very very happy with the way that turned out so put this up on uh, probably tomorrow and then maybe I might have something I don't know in a, in a month or so but I got a bunch of uh, custom orders that I got to start working on so this could be my last thing on eBay for I don't know, a week, week, two weeks, depending on my other orders. And then hopefully I'll be able to use the money for this to buy a piece of steel for that all steel Kusarigama, the piece of steel that I have. The more I looked up on it, I was just I'm not happy with the the composition of the steel and how it's going to react to having an edge and all that other stuff. I would rather use spring steel or this uh, 01 tool steel so that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed the little preview of the Kusari Gama and good luck